alive. That video was supposed to go live yesterday, but I didn't finish it in time. And then we went out for my husband's birthday. So I said, you know what? It, it can finish today. <laughs> That's part of being your own boss, right? Okay, let's see who's on. Hey, Rita, Christina, Miss Farm Girl, Tita, Amy. Awesome. Oh, no. Yeah, it's pretty hot out, Rita. You take care of yourself. Be careful. So are you guys seeing the video? Let me know in the comments because my phone is saying it's waiting for me still. I don't know. Seems weird. All right. So there I am. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the thumbs up, whoever did that. If everybody could do that, that would be awesome. Yes. Oh, good. Hey, Patty. Patty, I hope you like the things I made with your mystery box. And um, I was going to email you. I think the rest of the items that I didn't use, I'm going to save to see. I think we might, with our Magnolia team, do a little mystery craft challenge. So anyway, thanks for being here, everybody. I don't have a super involved craft tonight. This getting used, I'm getting back used to my schedule, and then I added lives on Tuesday night. So, um yeah, getting back into the schedule. So I have up the project on Tuesday night. I had two choices. I had a patriotic project or a B project and everybody wanted patriotic. So I said, okay, I'm saving the B project for Thursday. Hey, Sherry. So what I'm starting with today is this sign that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And I loved the size of it. I loved that this was wood. I loved that it had beads on it. It is pretty much blank on the other side, except for you can see the little knots for the twine. That doesn't really bother me. So I could definitely make this a two-sided project. But for today, we're going to use this side. Above chat makes it impossible to type. You should be able to X that, those advertise. I, I don't see ads on mine, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. But, oh, birthday was good. We went for sushi. And, okay, so he actually corrected me. Normally, Friday mornings, we do breakfast dates. But this Friday, we can't. So we did our, our date last night, and we're actually celebrating his birthday with the kids and my parents tomorrow or Saturday night after my daughter's dance recital. So anyway, but it was his birthday. I felt like we were going out for his birthday. <laughs> so with all that being said, couple public service announcements. Did you guys see the new June Craft Club? I'm so excited. So I actually posted a video on my Facebook. It's a YouTube video, actually. I could probably share it here on my community tab as well. It's a tote bag craft. And look at the stencil. It says, be the reason someone smiles today. I love it. And it comes with ruby red and blue ink, a squeegee, the tote bag, the stencil, all for $22.99. So if you're already part of my craft club, you're going to get this this month when you normally, around the time of the month. And then um, if you're not in my craft club, now is a great time to sign up because then you'll always get the new kit at the beginning of the month. So if you're interested in Craft Club, we do ask that you stay with it for at least three months. Um, it's like flat $5 shipping, $5.25, something like that, and then whatever tax is where you live. But they're prepackaged, they're ready to go. Like I have probably 10 customers that there's all uh, processed today because they signed up on the first. So if you want yours to process on the second, you can sign up tonight and this will be on its way to you. So that is public service announcement. I guess that's the only one I really have. So I showed you the sign we're going to use and I will um, angle my, my camera down. But the stencil set is brand new that we're going to use. It's called Honeybee Quads. So it comes with four. It comes with this house shaped one, which is actually the one I'm going to use. Welcome to our hive. It comes with this adorable sunflower and the bee. I cannot wait to use this on something. And then it comes with this square that says sweet honey, pure, all natural, fresh. 
and then this small one that has half of a B and it says be beautiful. So these are designed, if you look at the shapes, round, square, house, and small, they are designed to fit on our tiered tray four pack, which comes with a tag, perfect size for that B uh, tag that says beautiful. This one is shaped for the square stencil. This one is shaped hexagon, but for the round, the sunflower. And this one for the house shape. So I'm not using these today, but if you want to get the stencil and this pack, you'll have everything you need to make all of those. It also comes with some bead um, and jute for the house. Oh, no, for the, oh, for the tag. That's right, for this. And then this little jute with the cross and two, three beads is for the house shape if you choose to use it. So, yay, hi, Constance. You got all those as soon as they came out, yes. So I'm gonna show you, I wanna show you the tiered tray set because I do love it. I love that the stencil is designed to go right with it. But I'm gonna use just the house shape on this rectangular sign that I showed you. And I'm going to use some more of this. I have used this before. Um, it's called Let It Be with two E's um, by Graphic 45. I do have it linked to my Amazon storefront. This is how gorgeous this paper is. I've made scrapbooks with this. I've used this on some of my past um, B decor. And the backside is this honeycomb. So what I thought I would do is use the honeycomb to cover the back of this. First, I'm going to paint this black. I'm not sure. I think I might just dry brush some white on the beads, to be honest. And then I want to use, I don't know if you can see them, but on there's like this little edge that says buzz and it's in black. So I think I'm going to use some of these edge pieces as well. So I'll cut those off first, maybe this one or this sunflower one. There's all sorts of different ones, but I'm going to use this piece and then we'll stencil on top of that. Oh no, it got lost in the mail. That's not good. They have great customer service though. So um, once they know that it's truly lost, they will probably resend. All right, so let's go down here. And actually before I cut paper, I should probably paint my edge and I don't need to worry about taping this off because we're going to cover this with um, the paper anyway. So let's just get our black paint and I just I just want it to kind of match better than the brown. I think with the B theme it needs to be black. So we're just going to quick paint this black. not too difficult. Like I said, we can be a little sloppy because we're going to put scrap of paper down here. Now the, I will need to be a little neater when I come up here around the beads, but I'll do that last. And I will do the outside edge as well. We want to frame it out. Thank you, Christina, for the reminder to like and share. Appreciate it. And I did, um, if you're just hopping on and you didn't know, I did just um, just lo uploaded and made public the mystery craft challenge results. So the three projects I made with the supplies that Patty sent me. So that went live mm, maybe a couple hours ago. So if you didn't catch that yet, you can watch that after this. That would be awesome. I'd love to know what you thought. Oh, I'm getting black on the beads. That might be inevitable. I might have to come back and do the dry brushing white on the beads later after everything is dry. Oh, sorry, you can't see.
trying to paint around the beads without getting paint on the beads. At least not too much. And like I said, I could always do another project on the back side later on. Okay. See, I got a little bit of black on there, but I think it's okay. All right. Did you guys see? Well, I guess it depends on if you're just following me on YouTube or if you also follow me on Facebook. I've also posted, I don't know if it was yesterday or today, I think it was yesterday, um, pictures and a short video showing my, my mantle, all decorated now with my patriotic stuff that I've made. So you can see all those projects that we've been working on, both on Facebook and here on YouTube. It's kind of fun when it all just comes together. Okay. I think that's all we're going to paint with the black. So put that aside. We'll let this dry over here and let's come back to the paper. I'm first going to cut this strip. It's got some sunflowers I'm trying to get it straight here. Okay. So I've got this strip I can use maybe at the bottom. Um, next I need to do this small one. Nope. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to cut them so that I can get all of them off. But really what I want is this buzz that's black, but I have this other one at the top that goes all the way across. It says life is beautiful. And if you're interested, this is a Fiskars trimmer. I use it very much. And it is also in my Amazon storefront. All right, so now I have this one that says Buzz with little bees. I think I'm going to use that for sure. Kind of on the borders because I'm going to have a little bit of extra room in the middle. And there's another piece of it. So that's enough to do the two long sides. And then I'm not sure for the short side. I might do the sun, actually, it might be enough to do top and bottom, but I could do the sunflowers. I could do, this red one is cute. It says, hello, sunshine. Or there's be, be yourself, be kind, be creative. Hmm. All right, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. I don't want it to be too busy, um, but I do need to measure the inside. I probably should have done this before it was all painted, but looks like we're about seven and five sixteenths. That's very precise. And eight and fifteen sixteenths. Oh gosh, can I even remember what I just said? Okay, and do you guys remember what I said here? Yeah, you guys really liked the watermelon sign. I liked it too. It was a little busy, but five sixteenths. I really liked the sunflower one. I thought my idea to, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, to make the carrots into a sunflower was, I was pretty proud of myself for that idea. All right, that is going to fit perfectly in there once that paint is dry. And then we got all these other little pieces that we can use. 
So let's kind of speed this up. Oh, Erica, you're so sweet. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, it's on my Amazon storefront. So if you just go to Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Monarch Mom DIY, it should take you to my favorite crafting supplies and tools. So my trimmer is there, my little hand sander. like on YouTube is that you're looking at my my waist and just my project. I wish I could have my my face in too, but it seems like YouTube prefers this horizontal format. So, all right. I think Pretty dry. I think I'm going to go ahead and get my Mod Podge back here. Remember, this is a thicker cardstock, so I don't need to spray water on it. And we're just going to get this, try to spread this out. If I end up having too much, I can pull some off. And it's okay if it gets up on the edge because we can, um, we're gonna probably end up going around the edges, but you know what? I can tell I have too much. Got a little excited. So let's get some of this extra off of here. We don't want it to take forever to dry because we do want it dry before we stencil it. So make sure when you go to places, especially like Goodwill or Hobby Lobby, because they have clearance all the time, look at signs, look at the, um, let's call it the bones of the sign, okay? This had a nice wood frame. It had the beads, which I liked. I didn't really need another thing that said coffee, but I knew I could make something really cute out of this. So keep that in mind. Ooh, looks like I'm... Maybe getting some black on my brush here. Wasn't quite dry all the way on the edge. That is okay. We're just spreading the Mod Podge up. Okay, so I will not use that brush again when I go over the top. But I'm going to fit this. Oh, see that? This is why you measure twice and cut once. And the thicker cardstock does lay pretty flat. So I think I'm good. I'm just going to let that sit here for a minute. And actually, the cardstock itself isn't really wet. I probably could stencil on this pretty quickly. You never see Christina? Hmm. I'm not sure what that, what that means. All right. Especially you want to make sure your corners are down. All right. Let's clean our hands here. <sighs> oh, Patty, no, you gave plenty of options. I was a little, you, it was quite the mixture of things. I honestly had to think about it the whole time I was in New York and, you know, what, what, what was I going to do? But it was a good challenge for sure. Good challenge. All right. Let's get our stencil. I'm going to get my 
tacky towel here. So when I first use a stencil for the first time, I like to write the name on the back, mostly so I don't put my stencil back on that side because if you stick it on the back, it will not come off. This is matte finish. The place where the stencil is, is shiny. That's where you want to stick your stencil back down. All right. So I'm not going to do anything super fancy with this. I'm just going to stencil it with black because we're already on a yellow background. And this is paper, so I am going to want to fuzz this pretty well. I don't want it to pull my paper up by sticking to it too much. What do we think? I think I'm just going to center it as best as I can. That looks pretty good. If I want to get real persnickety, I can measure okay that is like pretty much straight in the middle okay now we've got that down so what I was thinking on these sides is doing this buzz 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 what do you guys think should I add well let's stencil it first and then let's see if we need to add anything the other thing I thought too is I could do a little bow like up on one of the corners might be cute. All right, let's get a little black. This is so cute. Yeah, I do have all those ribbons. I got some B ribbons from Timu. So we'll see what we have time for. All right. Okay, let me turn it to you guys to do the peel and reveal. Are you ready? And tell my scrap of paper isn't quite all the way dry yet. Ah. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. I love it. Look at that. How cute is that, you guys? I can't hold it straight for some reason. I love that. Okay, so what do we need? We could do, got some little ripples down here. So we could do this, this border one that has little bees and says buzz buzz. I think I have two of them, don't I? This one seems a little wider for some reason. Let's see if I can trim it just a tiny bit. It should be seven sixteenths. Okay. Okay, just a little bit skinnier. There we go. So we could do this in the middle or on the sides here I mean what do you guys think about that I know it's probably hard to see it looks so much better yes for sure and then what about at the top the top let's see there was one that said hmm, but it's yellow let's see what do you think about this one that says hello sunshine the only thing is it might be too wide well 
I just worry about putting more words. What do you guys think? Really cute with the borders. Okay. What about on the top? I also have these sunflowers I could do on the bottom. I could trim a little bit more off so they're not so close to the house. Let's see if I went, if I trimmed, let's see. Cause you know, I love the bees and sunflowers together. would be cute. I wish it was just a little bit longer. Okay. So if I, if I do the sunflowers at the bottom, do I need something at the top? What do we think? There's this one that says, hello, sunshine. And if I scoot it this way, I can get both of them in there. Is that too many words? Can you guys even see? What do we think? Does that make it too busy? Yes, I could. You know what? Yes, I could just do a bow at the top. I'm going to do that. Thank you for reminding me. All right, so I'm just going to set this in here and like crease it with my fingernails so I see where to cut it to be the right size. Oops. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is just do this tiniest little, let's see if I can do a really tiny, ooh, comes out fast. Tiny little bit of Mod Podge there for this little strip. That was not close at all. Sorry, I keep putting things in your way. Okay. Oops, this one I forgot to cut first. I'm going to have to cut that one with my uh, fingertip knife after it's dry. Top and bottom would be too busy. Black and yellow go well together. Aw, thanks. All right, so I think I am going to do the sunflowers at the bottom. And then we'll do a bow up here at the top. So let me figure out where I need to cut this one. Crease it. Okay, let's see about. I'm just going to use my finger Ooh. and make a mess. I'm just spreading. A Mod Podge on the back of this piece. There. Uh oh. I dripped Mod Podge, but I think I got it. All right, what do we think? You guys see it? My iPad is very crooked right now. There we go. A little better. All right, so this is what we're saying no to. Are we for sure saying no to this? Your 
to get her out. Huh? Okay, I'm not sure the conversation about blocking or finding people, but I'm going to trim this little piece here since I forgot to do it before I stuck the paper down. All right, you know what? I am going to do this. I think it's so cute. But I want to center it. So I need to cut just like a tiny bit off this side. I'm still going to put a messy bow. It's okay if it covers it a little bit. wasn't anticipating this being such a messy craft. really really like it okay let's clean up some of this mess and then I need to grab real quick my my um ribbon thanks guys I like it too all right getting on my little scraps some of these scraps I'm going to keep. So I'm going to go through those after. Okay, give me two seconds to grab my B ribbons. Some of these are really big. So I don't, this is really wide. Maybe what we could do, see these are really wide and I almost feel like this is what I'm gonna have to do because the other ones are pretty wide. So maybe we don't make a messy bow, maybe we make a bowy bow. Let's try it and let's see what it looks like. Hi Sherry, welcome. What do we think about the Bowie bow? A regular bow. Ugh. And I can, I will trim and dovetail the tails here. Oh, somebody likes it without a bow. What about over on, oh, I kind of like it over on the side. What do you guys think about the bow on the side? Obviously, this will be like to there. It'll be a little shorter. Okay, well, I'm not going to take the flowers off because I've already glued them on. So I think I'm going to do the bow up in this corner here. And let's see. Let's trim this. Dovetail it. Yeah, I mean, I have some really cute bee ribbons, but unfortunately for this project, they're a little bit large. That is going to be cute, and I'm going to wait to put it on until after I um, do some white dry brushing on the beads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tape 
around my frame at the base of the beads so I don't get white paint now on the black. See, painter's tape, always your friend. Always a good idea. Okay, so see how I did that? I kind of just went around the end of the twine there with the painter's tape so I can paint my beads white without worrying about it getting all over my frame. Oh good, you guys like the bow on the side. I'm so glad. So glad. Okay, so now let's get a little paper towel to put under our beads. And there's just a little bit of space. Do you guys think I should fully paint the beads or just like a little bit? Oh, yellow paint. I don't know. We got so much yellow already. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Choices, choices. glue gun heating up for our bow when we're all done here. Start off light and go from there. Okay, let me grab a chippy brush then if we're just going to dry brush. The problem is they're going to kind of roll around a little bit, but I think I just have to resign myself to getting my fingers a little messy. I still wanna be careful not to get white on my black frame. If I kind of focus on one bead at a time, they kind of twirl on the string. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I think. What do we think about the beads? Think they're about done. Get a little in between. I'm just kind of like pouncing on them. Yes. Okay. These aren't super wet, so I can pick them up. I love it. What do you guys think? Let's get this tape off here. I just covered the camera. Sorry. What do we think? Oh, wait, I'm going to put the bow on. <laughs> we think you didn't put the bow on yet. You are correct. Okay, let me quick. If the glue gun is heated up enough, which it might not be yet. Okay, so pause on the bow. White beads. Yes, I thought so too. They made the words on the sides pop a little bit. So cute. Now, if I would have had a smaller sign, I wouldn't have needed this around the side. But when I stenciled in the middle, I had a lot, um, I had a lot of extra space. Ooh, a B. You know where I'm gonna put the B? I'm gonna put the B on the middle of the bow. I think right there. Because I do have some of those from the uh Dollar Tree. 
I have a few left that I haven't used yet. I have three. I could add three. I could put one here. Oops, you can't see. I could put one on the bow for sure. And then you're thinking on the beads. What about just one right here? That's adorable. All right, hurry up, glue gun. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh, hey, Sarah. Welcome. No worries. Wow, I can't believe it's already been 40 minutes. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's going to be a quick one tonight. I'm pretty sure my video for... Sunday on the, on YouTube here is also going to be bee themed. So hopefully you're not sick of bees yet. <sighs> All right. So if you hopped on late, let me just show you again. These are the stencil we used is from this set called Honeybee Quads. So there's a house shape, a square, a round, and then this one is made to go on a little tag. And the tiered tray four pack has shelf sitters exactly those sizes so a, a tag to make a beaded garland for that little one a house shape for this stencil that we just used the hexagon for the round sunflower with the bee and the square for the one that says like sweet honey or something like that so that is what we used and what is available, kind of that all goes together. And then I also showed you the June Craft Club kit is an awesome canvas tote bag, brand new exclusive stencil that says, be the reason someone smiles today. I love that stencil. I plan on buying extra tote bags, which you can buy um, and making multiples of this, maybe even in other colors, but you get blue and red ink and a squeegee. So. The link to sign up or find out more information about Craft Club is also in the description of this video. All right, let me show you what I'm doing. Just putting our little bow on the corner here. And if you want, you can tack down the, the tails. If you don't want them, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue there. Just to tack it down a little bit. if you want. All right, then a B for the middle of our bow. And then, oops, I'm gonna put one like on one of these beads. That is so cute. Okay, hopefully, let's wait to pick it up until I know they're for sure on there. How cute is that? What do you guys think? I love it. Thank you for all of your help deciding, you know, where to put the bow and colors for things. I think it is super cute. Yes, you will get more bees this weekend on YouTube. I just love this. I think this is so sweet. And yep, you can do something else on the other side. And then what I do is if I have a bow, I just kind of tuck it out of the way. You can tuck it down and you won't see it. Thanks, Sarah. I'm glad you like it. All right, so links for all these things are in the description. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And I will be live again on Facebook tomorrow at 1 p.m. So maybe I will see you guys all there. But thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for sprinkling the video. Thanks for the thumbs up. We'll see you guys later. Bye.